uh, heard some really good comments there. One of them was uh, even an organization the size of Netflix chose the cloud for uh, capital investment and IT cost savings. And it's interesting because uh, we being a Microsoft shop uh, have some are able to get a view into Microsoft's investment in the data center and the number right now is covers around $5 billion. And you think about a company being able to invest in data centers to be able to leverage that kind of investment on a subscription basis, $5 billion available to use as you need. Um, they are actually the largest private data center in the world and the only data center larger than Microsoft. Uh, this interesting statistic is the United States federal government. <clears throat> Uh, I'm now going to introduce uh, Amr, and Amr uh, known him quite a while, uh, at least heard of him for quite a while. Uh, he runs RJT, CompuQuest, and they are a $50 million provider um, associated with uh, SAP, business partner of them, and uh, represent the cloud side of SAP with the SAP Business by Design. So it's uh, Amr's worked with a few companies that I've uh, known. I actually I worked in the same company. I, I had a short stint in Air India, and Amr's worked there. Uh, he's worked with HCL and CMC. It's my pleasure to introduce him. Uh, hi, I'm Amar. <clears throat> Cloud has been really, really exciting in the past few years, and I'm not going to talk about in an academic sense, but I'll try to give my own business perspective as to how this has changed our company, what we have done at granular level. But briefly, before I go there, I want to just show you a slide that I'm sort of... Um, look at this. Initially, what happened a long time ago, people used to write by hand, right? And, and when the typewriters came on, everybody said they could still write. There were plenty of people who could write. And the typewriters came and there was no stopping, so we moved from hand to a typewriter. And here's, here's a person with a computer, and the cloud is here. I think there is, there's a transformational thing that's happening in front of us. It is not, this is not, this is not, has not happened. It's almost like it's, it's going to change the way we live our lives. And we have seen in the last 10 years how it has affected everybody. On a personal basis, I, I, our company is based out in Torrance. I live in that area, and uh, my wife's uh, wife is here. And uh, we drive down sometimes. And, and the last five years, we have seen that you 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 had the Barter store. Um, uh, whenever you wanted to go and buy a book, you went to the Barter store, you bought a book, or you wanted to see. Next, you wanted to you wanted to get a check cashed. You went to the bank and checked your cash. Next, you wanted to go to buy a sports supply, you went to the stores. You went to Mervyn's over there, Mervyn's used to, you could buy something over there. And literally, Hawthorne Boulevard, as I see it, half the stores are gone. Literally, I swear, half the stores are gone. Uh, the automobiles, um, places that I used to see and used to go and browse cars, are gone. And it's a reality. It's a business reality. It's not, it's not something that's happening somewhere else. It's happening in front of our eyes. Half the employees that we can see in our business buildings around are gone. The buildings are completely vacant. We read about it in the newspaper, but I see as I drive down Hawthorne Boulevard, as I go from my school, I go to my house, it's, it's stark reality. I go to my son's school. I go to my daughter's place. I mean, they don't even give exams uh, or by paper anymore. It's all online. They get their homework online. They, they may manage their things online. Um, it, it's all gone online. There, is, there are no scores of people sitting. This is not a battery of 20 or 40 or 50 typists or people sitting around trying to create something over there. They're gone. Whether the jobs have actually gone somewhere or they are not there, but I can physically feel that, that those businesses don't exist. And so it's a reality that, that strikes, and I sometimes tell my wife, it's what, what's really happening? I think what's happening is in the past, the paradigm was location, location, location. But it's no longer, location is no longer a critical factor. If you are a store that is just giving a service and that has been bought to a place and that is just because you have it 
at that location, it is of no consequence. So what was Borders doing? It was getting these books from Seattle, getting it from a publisher, putting it in the store, and he was actually delivering it. They weren't actually adding a value, but they, what they were doing, they were assimilating a product and selling it to you. And that has gone away. That, that benefit that you had of a location is no longer a benefit. So as you look at businesses, as you look at your own way of doing it, I don't think location is ever going to come back. So what was happening, look at this in the evening as we talked about Netflix and we talked about others. If I wanted to watch a movie, I would go to Blockbuster Red. I swear I still miss it. But it's not there. That, that store is empty. And it's a reality. People think that the building is going to be re-rented and we can invest in that. But that has gone away. We would go home, we would just download the stuff, we would watch it. So I think as we develop new business models, as we try to try to understand what we want to do, I think in our businesses, in our business and personally, it is very important for us to really realize what we are. Does it matter to a customer? Do, and does your business matter to anybody? If the answer is no, then I think it's very hard. I mean, you have to really sit down. Does it matter that you no longer exist tomorrow? So I think these would be very difficult questions that all of us individually and privately as businesses would have to understand. And we have seen that change that's coming to us. It's a stark thing. But on a good note, on a good note, we ourselves were able to scale up our business. And privately, we would sit down, we would have these contracts lying out in the office, we would scan, we would put everything all over the place, put it in nice bundles. And a few years ago, what we decided, we decided to scan everything, upload everything. Every document is clearly laid out, everything can be done. So what we do is, we do online accounting. We, do, we store all documents online, we, we manage HR online, we do legal work online, we do all the stuff online as much as possible. I even have my out offices, the offices which are not there, whether they are in Chicago or they are in Dallas or in Denver or anywhere else, everybody scans documents, we have a back office in India, scans, goes to India, all the information is fed up into it and we are able to leverage that that resource back to our own company. And so the profitability has gone up and we are able to do much better. I think it's a lesson, but it's, it's a lesson that was hard learned. It takes a long time to really realize that people who are sitting in your office got to be fired. It's a very hard decision. Or to retrain and to, and to scale up to the next level. But it is happening in front of our eyes. The companies are going to do the same thing. We are just a microcosm of what's going to happen to the bigger companies. Uh, I do want to share a small video of, of, of how businesses are being. So upstream and downstream, these mega corporations are there at the one place. Um, this is a brief, um, I try to make a slide of it if, if this could potentially work. Um, as to how, how location was so important and it is no longer. If we, are, we are in control of a lot of these services ourselves sitting in, in individual places. Uh, there is a video I wanted to know. What's happening in the, in the business place is that earlier, a lot of these jobs were, were individually performed within the organization. So if you had a whole um, HR function, somebody was writing programs on it, creating an HR program, doing the whole thing. But now it is not. It's all going to be online. So where, where are these people going to? They're going to go into the value of the business. The business value has to be created. And it's a whole new paradigm shift in terms of what value you bring to the organization. I think that's a very, very um, interesting. Uh, this is a video, Abhishek, can you turn that on? 